Right. In the IPA, we have six Greek letters or modified Greek letters uh, representing various sounds. So let's have a quick look at them uh, as a way of trying to help remember remember these symbols. So here are the six uh, symbols. And I find that knowing the names of the these letters in the modern Greek alphabet is, is the most helpful way to approach them. Um, you may also see the phi and the theta. There's a, a video on the circles with lines through them symbols. Uh, there are four of them. These are the two consonant ones. Uh, and I have some tricks there for you. Uh, but if you know that this is the letter phi and this is the letter theta, then you'll know this has, it has a f sound and this has a th sound. Uh, very close to the sounds they represent in the IPA. Um, the beta or veta uh, symbol represents the voiced counterpart of this voiceless fricative. Um, so knowing knowing that it's beta, you'll at least get bilabial. Uh, it's sometimes pronounced vita, uh, which gets you right to the, the voiced fricative side of it. Um, notice all of the Greek all of the consonants here represent fricatives, so that's another uh, helpful point. The the gamma or gamma symbol represents a voiced velar fricative. So if you think gamma, you've got voiced velar already there at the start of the name gamma, and knowing that these are all fricatives, voiced velar fricative, and there you go. Chi, the chi symbol, this is like an X, but it descends below the level of most consonants. Um, so that's the chi symbol. Sometimes the uh, one or, or the other of these legs is depicted curly. Um, it doesn't happen to be in this font. Uh, so that's the voiceless, represents the voiceless uvular fricative. Uh, voiceless fricative um, makes sense. It's like the X, which represents the voiceless velar fricative. So that's a connection as well there. Uh, and it descends a bit more. I don't know if that helps to think of it as further back in the mouth. Anyway, those are the five consonants. And then the upsilon represents an u kind of sound. Uh, it's the it's a symbol. It's a sound close to the u. And uh, it's used here to represent the uh, um, u. Uh, a vowel close to the oo sound, like the radio, the full oo oo sound is is represented with the lowercase u, and then that's a that's the close back rounded vowel, and then the near close back rounded vowel is represented by this upsilon. So those are the five uh, Greek letters that we have in the IPA, and some thoughts about how to connect them to their sounds.